Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and today we're going to talk about wiring or punching down a jack. And this is what we're going to punch down. However, I thought you'd like to go back a little bit in time, nostalgia type of thing. This is what I used to put in 20 years ago. Oh, the good old days. No, they weren't good old days. But this is what I used to have to do. Little screw things. You'd, you'd strip the cable. You would... Uh, take uh, stick them in there and you had to stick them in a certain way in a certain direction and sometimes they'd break off anyway I'm glad we're doing it differently today and this is the jack we're going to use this is uh, the one that we're going to punch down or actually it's called punch down today back then it used to be called wiring but today it's called punch down so here's my victim cable we're going to do this quickly what you want to do is I'm going to cut off that sheathing. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can do that. You can do it this way with a scissors. You can actually use your household scissors if you're a homeowner. Or you can use this little handy dandy, very inexpensive punch down tool. It comes off, right? And uh, then what we're looking for is we're looking for that string. And you find that string. And you take it. And you cut a little slot here for the string to go down. Start it. Try and do this quickly for you. See how I'm stripping it back? Okay. Then I'm going to cut off what was exposed after I stripped the wire back. And the reason why is I, I may have nicked that wire. I don't want to do that. And then I cut off the string. A lot of people say, well, it's put in there for strength. Uh, I think it's put in there, actually, to cut the the uh, shield, the uh, outside shield off, to cut, you know, rip it down like I just did. Um, now, if you notice, these jacks have color codes, and the color code is A, B, and it has the different colors if you're going to use the different standards, the A standard or the B standard. We're going to use B today. And notice right here it starts with orange, white, and then uh, full orange, and then blue, white, and blue. And on the other side... Uh, the B standard is going to be um, brown, uh, brown, white, brown, uh, green, white, and green. So that's the standard. That's how you're going to punch them down. Now, it's, remember, you want to punch down the same standard on both sides. And what I mean by both sides is I mean not only both sides of the jack. Obviously, that's obvious. But at the other end of the cable. So when you punch this down with a B standard, because that's pretty normal in commercial settings in America, if you cut it, if you punch it down in B setting, it should be punched down in B setting at your patch panel in the back. Okay. Um, whatever you do up here, A or B should be uh, the same thing down there. Now we have different colors here, um, and this is the the first pair, second pair, third, fourth pair. They're always pairs. They're always talked about in pairs, not in individual wires. So we don't have eight wires here, even though uh, technically that's what we have. What we actually have is four pairs. So this is four pair cable. It's just a cable, piece of scratch cable. There's nothing at the other end. And I'm just going to show you how to punch down. Now the first thing I'm going to do is that little uh, insulator I took off. I'm going to put in here, and I'm going to separate them. Okay? So let's see. What is the side call for? It calls for blue and orange, the first two pairs. So remember, the blue pair is the first pair um, in technical terms. And I guess we don't have to be really technical here. We just do it. Um, and remember, the first one on the B setting, I'm going to use B, is going to be orange and white. So this is my orange and white. And if you can see, it has a little orange stripe in there. And then I have a solid cable orange. These are international standards that have been going on for many, many years, even longer than probably I've been alive, and that's been a long time. So, and uh, there are really no courses on this anywhere. Anyway, I'm going to push them down into the slot as far as I can, and as you can see, there's uh, the, the uh, different colors, and it comes right out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to punch this one down because I'm tired of fooling with it. I'm going to use my cheapo, uh, not, oh, I'm sorry, not cheapo, inexpensive one. Just push them in there. The next one is going to be blue-white. Again, it's going to be with the blue, and it has white in it. So I'm going to push that. I'm going to punch that down. If I can get it to go down. Maybe it's just already down. Okay. And then the next is going to be brown. So I'm going to take my brown pair, 
and I'm going to separate it. Separate right to the edge there. I don't have to go all the way down. You want these cables to be as tight as you can. It doesn't have to be absolutely as tight as possible, but as tight as you can. And you push that down like that. And then, of course, the last one. Now I'm going to use my old handy dandy punch down tool that I've had for the last 20 years. It's a really nice punch down tool. We talk about punch down tools in another video. This is a professional punch down tool. Had it for at least 20 years. It's kind of beat up, but they last a long time. So I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to take the cutting edge. It says cut. Got a little edge there that sticks out. This is a 110 punch down. These are 110 jacks. I love 110 jacks. I don't like the universal punch down ones. They don't work as well. And I'm going to see if I can do this sideways for you. Oh, it's not that easy. Let me do it real quick. Now, I'm just going to do this side because the other side was punched down by the inexpensive. Punch down. Now normally what I do is I hit it twice. So I'm going to go and that's just a habit for me. Also, probably my blade is as dull as the, the ears that I've used it. Notice that when we use this one, right? I use this, pushed it down, right? It didn't cut. Well, it's because it's inexpensive. So you just take your scissors and you trim them up yourself. But the price difference, if I can get that to stay in, price difference is significant. So if you're just doing one or two jacks, in your house, 10 jacks in your house, this is great. It has a little wire cutter there. That wire cutter works great, by the way. You know, a shielding cutter. It doesn't actually cut the wires. And then, of course, 110 punch down. And uh, I punched this jack down about four or five times in demos, so it's really been worn out. Um, take your cap at the very end. You put your cap on top of it. Let me get the punch down tools out of the way. Take your cap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze this and it snaps. And that's how you wire or punch down an RJ45 computer jack. This is 6, oh no, I'm sorry, it's 5E. That's the same for 6, same for all the other jacks. They're standardized. Again, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and thank you for watching my video. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet.